Uh, Alan Gilbert again with Autodesk. This is video 4 in our AutoCAD Civil 3D Tips and Tricks. This session was delivered at the Fall Florida Users Conference 2015. In this video we're going to talk about uh, creating holes or voids with a viewport. And we've got a couple options here we're going to go over with just some manual overlapping edges. And then we're going to talk about the use of regions. I'm going to review a few options for making a void or a hole in a viewport. So to start with I'm going to create a paper space from a template. And there's an 11 by 17 paper space here that I can use. So as you can see there's a polygon for this viewport already. But before we work on that one, let's just talk generically. If you're starting from scratch, what you can do. Just move out here to the side. I can actually go and select polygonal. And just for example, I can just draw a rough viewport here. And I'm simulating my hole here in the middle. See for close. And you can see I have a hole here. And if I make these coincident, these vertexes, I pretty much simulated a hole. So if I double click to go into model space, you can see I'm creating a hole. And the only thing I'd have to do is I would have to put the viewport on a non plottable, or as non plottable, or turn the layer off. So let's apply what we learned there to this actual sheet. So let's create a rectangle. I'm just going to type in rectangle. Drop it in the middle. And what I'm going to do is select the viewport. I'm going to hover over the middle, click add vertex. And I'm just going to digitize my shape here. And one more. So now we've we've done that. We double click in here to activate and we fit the screen. We've done the same thing. Created a viewport and it's also uh, the nice thing. Let me double click out to go back to paper space. It is editable. So if I select the viewport and I type in stretch for example. I can move this around or I could move a portion of it and make it bigger or different size. So that method is editable but we still have to deal with this line and turn the layer off or make it non plottable. So let's talk about the second method uh, on this tip which is the region method. So let's actually draw a few more rectangles just do a, a rectangle uh, basically if we were starting from scratch for the outside put a small one for the hole and now if I type in the region command and I'll select both objects and enter so I have a region created I'm sorry two regions created and now if I do a subtract it says which one you want to subtract from that one. Hit enter. Now what do you want to subtract? I want to subtract that region and enter. So now I should have a region with a hole in it. So now if I create a viewport from object, you can see I have exactly what I wanted. I have a hole. And if I double click to go into model space, I don't have a line this time. So that's really good. So what if I want to move as I did before and I want to make the edit? Well, a little more work, but not too bad. If we type in rectangle, we'll make a small rectangle down here. I'll turn off my object snap. I'll let that be my new rectangle. And now let's run another rectangle. 
that encompasses the first one. Now I'm going to type in region to create a region from that. New one. Enter. So now I have a region. And now I want to union two regions. So I have a region here and I have a region here. I want to make a union to get rid of this hole. One thing to be aware of here, if I type in pick add as a system variable, pick add, I need to be on one or two. If this is set to zero, that means that I'm not going to select multiple running objects and uh, this command will be very hard to do. So make sure that's set to two so that my selection set will accumulate. So we'll show you what I mean here. I'm going to type in pick add and I'm going to set this to zero. Now if I type in union and I pick the first two, it says two found. Now if I click this one, it deselects the first one and only finds the second one. So the pick add is very important and on that topic, if we go to the properties palette, click in control one on our keyboard, there's also a place to toggle that where I can set that variable. Or I can just simply type again and type in, I'll go back to two, that's a new setting, but basically that will build. So let's continue on the demo here, union, pick these two regions, which is one region with a hole in it, and my next one and then hit enter and you can notice that hole goes away so now we have to build a region out of this one so we're back to kinda of where we started I'll build a region here and we'll type in subtract what do we want to select? subtract from that one, enter which one we'll just subtract, enter and there is our hole so that's the way we would make an edit if we're using the region method to create a viewport hole